That's why I yeah. decided not to join the Injustice 2 today, because it's been too long. I have no mm. idea what to do. But I, I used to be in Injustice 2 pretty heavy, though. I was Black Adam main before they nerfed him. Just saying. Listen, I'll, I'll tell you guys, next NRS game, I'm coming for next, all right? Me, me, uh, I'm going to pull some warrior out of retirement. That's going to be a tough ass, tough ass. All right, wait a minute. Does he, does he have what I think he has? No, yeah, this is, I'm trying to tell you, this is the setup for the fish. This is. Tell me about Shantless, because I, I, I'm, I'm right. confused by this, this variation right now. But I'm so if already. you like to take in content on the YouTube side of things when it comes to MK, and, you, and, and, and we can be a little, like, you know, forthcoming here, where M NRS content on YouTube can be a bit lacking sometimes as far as the right, amount of creators enough. that we have there. Yeah, Shenless is the clip king, and Fujin is his go-to character. He runs what most Fujins would consider awkward variations because he's just trying to fish you for, like, beefy little I clips. Know, I love but it. the yep. problem is is that he's he's so dedicated to doing this he's become proficient with it look at look at this robber's ass all right so tell me something Kev, though. he's a, he does already he got he uploaded out the names or does he p leave the name on it no no that is gonna be there that's like, what i like to hear that's right is. that's right i am tired of seeing people blank out names when they upload clips if you're gonna upload live by that upload. Yeah, and, and and people will try to discredit shenless as just being like a little bit oh he fished me but, but listen when nah, shenless turns it on get yeah that, get, get your fish on get that 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 fishing rod out i am happy to see it and, he, and because he uses moves that are so unorthodox from the Fujin toolkit, like Pressure Bomb, a lot of people just get caught up with the timing. They don't yep. necessarily know what the answers are. They don't know the frame data at all. And I'm like, yeah, to the this whole thing, I'm like, you see, like, two Fujins use that if that. And, uh, yeah, Shenlin's, uh, you know, I'm not going to be loud about it because he's competing right now, but he definitely is one of those competitors where if you figure out a thing or two, you can kind of solve the puzzle that is him, but fighting him for the first time is always going to be very, very uncomfortable. And it, but this is sad thing, though, I mean. Again, he's definitely one of the mortal gods in the scene. We've seen him. He's very consistent in his placements. I definitely think he's going to do well today as well. But again, Chandler's with the unorthodox Fujin. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah, and I mean, that's that's also saying, too, that we mentioned, like, some of the competition that's here today. It's crazy. Kakui, Unjust, you know. Uh, Splash is here. Sunio is here. Yep. And they, they are all coming to game, and especially because of the uh, size of entrance here. If you get a win, like, uh, last MKNJ, you know. It was, you know, it was their CEO, it was a little dark times, you know, we had COVID going on and everything, it was a little tougher to... See, the last MKNJ was the most stacked tournament I've ever seen. Yeah, you know what? I it was fit. there, I placed third. Yeah, I, I wonder hold, why. I got a hold that. I don't but, hear nothing else. It was the most but this stacked is, tournament I've ever played in. If you were trying to really build your resume as a competitive player, this is a big, this is probably the biggest MKNJ you could take as far as the roster yeah, competitors that yeah. have shown up tonight. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and we're only in pool number one right now. Yeah, I'm concerned about how long it's going to take to get through this. Alright, Aztec is definitely turning this around. Alright, let's see. Okay, he got the wind, the wind push. Oh, able to control most of the screen, whether it's the sky or the ground. Oh, oh wow. Able to get the down one conversion. The con yeah, off of forward three. I mean, what a button to convert off. And that, that again goes to show the level of loyalty that these players have to these characters. It's always small moments like that. When you end up in those situations, a lot of times it's quicker to identify it. Yep. And so Aztec, you know, th this isn't going to be the first time that someone has jumped, he's hit them with forward three. He can see it faster. And get the pick. And then mind you, if that didn't kill, that was probably getting followed with command grab. I mean, like, yeah, he was dead. Yeah, there was, there was no getting out of it. Or, or maybe even a quick down two. But again, shout out to the, I think, 146 people in the chat. Again, appreciate you guys coming through, showing support to Kev, as well as to the local scene here in New Jersey. Definitely good to be offline. Yeah, and, and a big thanks to Match Reno for partnering with us, helping us get some more money into these pots here. Big thanks to Darth Arma for putting so much of the work in to get this set up. Like, you know, we can do the production. Also, big shout out to Vanity for doing the whole behind the stream. Like, get up right now. You guys can't see her right now, She's but... clicking the button. The yeah, if you're like, man, Kevin's button. production is cracked. I, I'm not producing right now. I'm just sitting. All right, nice wind kicks. Of course, that's going to be Fujin's right. go-to armor breaker. It's a big decision matchup-wise whether you're going to use that or Needle. Needle usually going to be the less favored one because the threat of the down back four wind kicks. And especially with Shenless, he's re really, really into going for the 4-3, delaying it as long as he can. Beautiful crushing blow from Aztec. I don't think he can really do much. Yeah, I was going to say it's either going to be down one or down one into the sun. But yeah, uh, Fujin, yeah, he, uh, he, Shenless will delay that forward three to the last possible actor frame before he throws that wind kick, and it's just the timing of it just throws people off. Oh, yeah. oh, this time's the setup! Well, and, well done, well done. and it's the thing, Shenless with a beautiful reaction, but oh, had he actually just done a jump attack, he could have really started smoking. 
Now let's push all the buttons right now, okay? Yeah, That's remember, like no, no meter though, so... Yeah, it's gonna be problematic. Well, he's gonna get something to work with. It generally has a second or two before he gets his defensive meter back. He has some guaranteed damage if he can get something going. Gets clipped though. Aztec okay, doesn't commit or it doesn't come Kodo out. Wants to be. Kodo in the corner is one of the most dangerous characters in the game. He does have command grab as well. He actually commits to the low, which could have killed him. Oh my god, no, he oh, misses again. Middle. Oh, Shen could have gotten a bigger confirm off of that if he would have been ready for it. Okay, down one. Yep, gets the grab. Side switch. Puts him out the corner. Maybe he was trying to go for the KD. Or load it. Nice block. What's the answer going to be? Guess is right. Doesn't go. Oh, the throw. And I want to see. I actually want to see more of that from Shenless because Fujin's throw is fairly unreactable. If you have the movement with the. Um, you know, his forward movement, mm -hmm. he can get a lot of grabs. He, he really can't. It's kind of hard to tell whether it's a stand one or it's the grab. It's mm. not quite as shimmy, but it does work fairly well. Oh, that's going to be funny. Yeah. Yep, KB. And it's around. Definitely take it. Instant jump three. Big shout out to Batman oh, Joker for the follow. Nice block. Just goes for the throw for positioning. Okay, does it commit? Oh. And you know what? Aztec has been staggering that back 2-2 two, two a lot. He doesn't want to give Shenless the flawless block. But Shenless has not identified that habit and started challenging. I think he's worried about getting called out. And so he'd rather just play it safe. I think it's just cat. But one thing you can do is very risky, but you can do it. After those two hits, down one. Because it'll cover if he does the cat. If you do down one into special. And it'll cover if he does the overhead. As well. But it's a risk. I'm sure Aztec is ready for it. And Aztec goes up 2-0. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll see to your point. That's the kind of tech that you don't know how well your opponent is going to adjust until you start putting them in that position. And, and Shen, if he does not play layer 2 of that ma of that uh, mind game, yep. we won't even get to see how far that goes. It could have, like, effectively shut down Aztec's want to even bother doing back 2-2. Two -two. Like, once you show somebody you have an answer that covers multiple options like that, they start... You start mitigating their offense. You start removing their want to do that, and then there's less tools to worry about. What a challenge! Okay, jumps over, gets the down one into the command grab. Okay, we haven't even really seen the command grab that much in this matchup. But again, that's one of Koto's best tools. It is death on whip, though, so I understand why he's being very reserved with it. That could also be part of his conditioning, right? It's like, don't throw it out, and then when you, your opponent is used to you not throwing it out, then you start throwing it out, and they get hit every single time. Yeah. And listen, it's another big thing with Kodo too. A lot of Kodos don't bother with, but it is still really important for both of these characters, but doubly so for Kodo. Get that escape field loaded up. If you can get people mashing because they're guessing, then you have command grab threat, oh, you get so buff, bad, yeah. you have throw KB threat. Like, people forget sometimes that he has oh, a throw he's KB. So mad. Oh, he didn't have the KB though. He's like, oh, oh, he jumped. Hold north, not pressure. I appreciate it. Yeah, but I do, you know, I like Shenless going for the brave wake up throw read. Yeah. There is some like, oh, I think you're going to wake up three, and then you just get shoved into the corner, and it is okay, game time. Free low. punish. Oh, he could have got a bigger punish, but I think But this is the thing, is I think he's fishing. I think he wants a corner set up here. Catches him jumping out. Okay, manages to poke under. Great poke button for Fujin. Ooh, yes. Oh, just gets yeah, called out. Has a startup of that is way too slow. And Aztec ready for it. Does the wave dash up. Yep, keeps the safe with the cat. Again, and this is Kodo Khan. If he touches you, it's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, that's punish. Yep, it's... Yep. Can't afford to risk That's it. the thing, yeah, it, it, it works until it's not working, and then you really have to adjust. And Aztec, again, that down 4 2. Gonna be interesting to see if uh, we we see Aztec on stream again later operate with his main variation in Aircat. Yeah. He, he's a big proponent of using that. I think he's one of the few Kodos yeah, that okay. uses it like very effectively. And that's 3 0. But doesn't Aztec. need it today for the Shenless win. GG's to both competitors. Well played, I mean, Shenless have quite arguably the best first round against Aztec I've ever seen in my life. That yeah. was, yeah. Yeah. I mean, Aztec, again, he's super consistent. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen him play in a tournament in the last, let's say, six months to a year. Mm. Where if he is focused, he's going to do well.